Now we're going to look at sensor failures and troubleshooting sensor issues, as well as some wiring problems. This is all going to be done using the diagnostics of the screen. In this case, as an operator, I've been alerted to a problem by this sensor failure signal. If I click this, it's going to say sensor malfunction. From there, I can come back, go to system, and go to sensor monitoring. And while in sensor monitoring, I'll be alerted to any faulty sensors. In this case, my B512D is indicating that it has failed. It's reading a zero value, and that's not good. So from here, to identify the sensor, we can look at the name and what it does, and we can also look at what module it comes from, the contact on that module, and the marking, which will be the tag on the end of the sensor. So in this case, if I wasn't familiar with where this sensor is, I could identify module D515 from the labels, find contact X3B, and then trace the wire until it leads me to the sensor that's causing an issue. Let's go have a look at the sensor and see what could cause this. Now that we're back on the machine and we identified that D515, terminal X3, which can be found over here, was at fault, we could trace this wire along and find our way to the sensor if we had to. Though in my case, I know that B512D is located right here, and I can confirm that from the tag, which tells me the sensor name, as well as the module and terminal that it comes from. In this case, I can see that this is slightly loose. Let's go ahead and reconnect it and see what happens. As we can see back in the cab, the sensor is somewhat self-healing. The values are reporting again. However, we have a yellow indicator light. What the yellow indicator light means is that the sensor had experienced a fault, but is now reconnected. But it's waiting for us to go ahead and reset. So I'm going to reset the system. And when we do that, we'll notice that the sensor failure light has gone away. If when resetting it immediately reappears, we need to look for faulty wiring or a faulty sensor.